When I was in medical school, one day our pharmacology instructor said, next week is dog lab. And we all knew it exactly what that meant. At the end of the afternoon, your dog is dead in a trash bag. And you try to explain to your, your family how you spent that day. And it was a requirement, but I just said, look, I'm just not going to do that. When I finished my medical training, I decided that I wanted to not just practice, but I also wanted to see what I could do to change the way things occurred in science and medicine. So I started working with other like-minded doctors and we formed this group called the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. The toxicology work that we do at the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine aims to help accelerate toxicology by improving the methods that are used by toxicologists in regulatory decision making while moving away from animal use. A lot of our work ends up falling into three main components policy, scientific support, and education and training. For policy, we look at the laws, regulations, test guidelines, and guidance to determine what the policies actually say, and then um, what recommendations we have for changing them in order to incorporate new methods. Federal agencies are under a lot of pressure. They have competing priorities and they have um, different interests that are being lobbied to them. And they've also made commitments to reduce and replace animal testing. And so part of our work is trying to support agencies in carrying out those commitments that they've made. In 2020, the Food and Drug Administration launched its Innovative Science and Technology Approaches for New Drugs pilot program. We recognized this program as potentially groundbreaking because it provided a pathway where non-animal methods could obtain the FDA's stamp of approval. This would then indicate to all drug developers that they can confidently use any non-animal method qualified within this program without the need for additional validation data. The second main component of our work is scientific support. Development of new science is important to the Physicians Committee's work because advancing science is how we move forward. Respiratory sensitization is actually a neglected field that we have been advancing for years through the development of an adverse outcome pathway. So we have regulations that protect consumers and workers from chemicals that cause skin allergies, but not allergic asthma. And the lack of accuracy of animal test methods is a major driver behind this lack of regulatory test methods. So through developing an adverse outcome pathway, we can actually support the development of protective test methods. Last year, we published a review of epidemiological case literature where we found 28 chemicals that are known to cause respiratory sensitization in humans through occupational exposures. And this is an important first step because by using that list of known positives that do cause respiratory sensitization in humans, we can support the development of protective test methods that we hope will be used to protect human health in the near future. Not only do we participate directly in research, but we also identify gaps where more research is needed or more development is needed for new approaches. We will scour the toxicological landscape to determine where scientific development might be needed and we'll work to develop those methods and to fund the development of those methods. The final component of PCRM's research is education and outreach. PCRM offers several training and outreach programs including our Neuro program, ERA 21, the Summer School on Innovative Approaches, and our ASCCT collaboration. NURA stands for NAM Use for Regulatory Application. Our content includes topic-focused sessions featuring cutting-edge new approach methodologies. With NURA, we want to facilitate the shift from the current animal-based methods to better, more predictive human-specific approaches by getting scientists and regulatory experts together to learn from each other. Toxicologists want to use the best methods available to answer the safety questions they face every day they need to feel confident to use a new approach. We offer trainings and new approach methodologies to help provide this confidence. Through in-person events, online discussion series, and virtual webinars, we reach toxicologists around the globe and help further the cycle of evolution and acceptance of new approach methodologies. We also understand the importance of engaging the next generation of scientists in human-specific non-animal approaches. ERA 21 stands for Early Career Researchers Advancing 21st Century Science. We launched this program to connect emerging scientists with non-animal models to advance biomedical and translational research. Lastly, in 2010, we and a partner organization formed the American Society for Cellular and Computational Toxicology. ASCCT is a growing scientific society dedicated to the promotion of toxicology testing and research that reduces and replaces the use of animals. ASCCT offers an annual meeting and webinars that collectively reach thousands of scientists. 
It's been known for many years that other animals are not the best predictors of human outcomes. But thanks to the dedication, creativity, and innovation of toxicologists, we're now in a new position where we have methods that are more predictive, that can address animal ethics, that are actually better for business and can help reduce costs. My hope is that the momentum that we have been seeing, especially in recent years, where we see wonderful partnerships between industry, government, and people who just want to see the world be a better place, I want to see those partnerships continue to bear fruit, and I'm confident that they will.